Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today we're getting into some very fancy, fragranced body washes. These are, to me, very special treats. In the shower, they lift your mood. They take you away to another place for a little bit. These kinds of shower oils, body washes, are for those of you that enjoy a fragrance that kind of lingers for a little bit, then you wash it away. Some of these scents do linger on your skin for a bit, some don't. I have experienced all of these for a couple of washes now, and honestly, I like all of them for different reasons, so I wanted to get into the details of each of these brands and what these smell like. So, let's start with the one I've tried the most. This is the Diptyque Doosan Perfumed Shower Oil, and this is the Doosan Fragrance. Sometimes fragrance companies have body lotions, body washes, and different versions of their perfume. This is the, the shower oil of Doosan. Doosan is a heavy tuberose scent. I love tuberose, white florals, and I do like this body wash. I think the texture is really nice and light. I don't necessarily feel like it cleans all that well because it's a shower oil. But I'm, in general, I feel shower oils aren't like super cleaning as they are hydrating but this one is a really nice light texture and i do like the smell of it i think it smells pretty close to the Doosan perfume this is how liquidy it is of course when you add water it turns white mm. it is very luxurious smelling i think the texture of it is nice it's not too thick but it's not super special so really what you're getting the most out of this is the scent. So if you love the Doosan scent, if you haven't tried it, go try a sample of the scent at a boutique or wherever they sell Diptyque. You can, or, you can always, if you order online at diptyque.com, you can usually get fragrance samples if you want to pick one out. Mm, this is nice, fresh, and floral, but it is very strongly tuberose. If you don't like that, this is 200 ml, 6.8 fluid ounces. This lasts 12 months. Beautiful yellow color, but if you don't, <laughs> this video isn't for you, obviously, if you don't like fragrance in anything, but if you do, mm, it's quite exquisite. When you're in the shower with the water, it's not quite as strong as like smelling it dry right on your hands. Like this is just straight up soap, but I would recommend, you know, trying it out. I don't think personally I will get it again just because the formula is a little bit, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about shower oils. Sometimes I really like them. Sometimes I think they're just okay. This is one of those just okay formulas. It smells good, but I don't know, the scent isn't like exotic enough or special enough to like really reel me in. Like it's nice, it's tuberose, it's something I like, but it's pretty, mm, I don't want to say like basic floral, but it it's not as nuanced as other body washes I've tried. So there's that one. Next up I have two shower gels. One of them is from Le Labo, the perfume brand Le Labo. They have all kinds of body care products along with their perfumes. This is the shower gel and this is the Hinoki aka Sesame shower gel. I don't believe they have a Hinoki fragrance, but they do have this shower gel. Correct me if I'm wrong though. I'm not a super expert on Le Labo. But I was under the impression that they don't have a straight up Hinoki perfume. I wasn't sure how Hinoki was going to smell. I've heard of Hinoki candles being very popular. So I was intrigued. I did a Selfridges order and I wanted to try a different kind of smelling body wash. And I was curious about what Hinoki smells like. So this is 250 mils, 8.5 fluid ounces. So we get 50 more mils than this guy. Fresh 24 months after first use. This is formulated with plant-based ingredients, blend of sesame oil, rosemary leaf extract, gently cleanses and invigorates, leaves skin soft and smooth. All right, so fragrance is high up on the list here. It does have sesame seed oil, uh, rice bran extract, all kinds of things in here. 
let's talk about the formula and the scent. So this is a pretty typical gel in my opinion. Almost looks like honey, but it is not sticky. This is like your typical thickness of gel, maybe a little bit on the thicker side. Um, there's not a lot of like air or fluffiness. It's not whipped or anything like that. It's just straight up thick gel, kind of similar to like a sticky hair gel. But when you add water to it, the fragrance really explodes. And the scent of this, it's very woodsy. I'm, I never really smelled sesame, I guess like this. This is so good. This is such a, I don't want to use the term masculine, but I think most people are going to think that when they smell this, but it's not so masculine in like, Oh, Axe body spray or old spice. I know some of you love old spice, but this is the kind of masculine that anybody can wear. I guess it's a very like strong herbal woods but it doesn't have some of the other notes that you usually get with it. It's just straight up beautiful woodsy smell. I really like it. It's a little bit strong though, I have to say, like it's kind of overwhelming, but when you're looking for a fragrance body wash, you kind of want that brief or overwhelming experience while you're using it. At least I do. That's what really transports you in my opinion. It does have a lot of fragrance in it though. So it's not one of those lightly fragrance fresh. This is like in your face, boom, sesame. I think it smells really great. It reminds me of, I'm like in a cedar chest or something. Like I'm surrounded by wood paneling <laughs> and it, it smells surprisingly clean at the same time. Like it's a clean wood super good super impressed by this i'm glad i tried it and picked it up i think men are probably going to like this more and more typical like just like i'm clean but i'm not floral <laughs> that's the kind of vibe but i'm not like aquatic either because sometimes with woods and stuff you get this kind of aquatic -y stuff and going on at the same time some people like that some people don't so this is a different kind of clean. It's not overly green. So I think it's nice. It's not like a, a, a super grassy clean. It's a masculine clean. So it, it's like stripped down in the right way, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And the gel texture is really nice. I think these kinds of gels actually clean really well. Um, you can set them up, you can put them in a loofah. Or you can just do straight up this in water, most concentrated. And if you want like the most bang, don't put in a loofah. So liking this one a lot. All right, so last but not least is from Eccentric Molecules. This is the Eccentric 01 Body Wash. This is another fragrance brand that came out with body washes. And this Eccentric Molecules, I have a whole video trying out their entire collection, and uh, Eccentric 01 is, so they have their Molecule 01, which I believe is their most popular fragrance, and they have an Eccentric 01 version of it. Molecule 01 is just one note, Isoe Super. Eccentric 01 has Isoe Super and some other notes in it. I don't know off the top of my head, um, but this follows with Isoe Super with plus some other stuff. Um, I, I personally can't smell Molecule 01 very well. This I can smell for sure. And I really like it. This is different. This is a very different one for me. Again, very clean. Probably some of you will say masculine. This is another um, body wash that's a gel form. This is 200 mils, seven ounces. So similar size to this guy. Love the square packaging. I think it's very sleek, very matrix-like. Um, but this is another gel. Um, look very similar texture to the Lalabo one, maybe a little bit lighter in texture. Mm, I love the smell of this. This, um, you know, as I said, it could be thought of more as masculine because it's not, it's not super fruity or floral or gourmand. Um, and it's clean, but this is definitely, um, on the lighter side to compare to Kenoki. 
I don't know really how to describe this. I feel like there's got to be some citrus notes in here along with I Saw You Super. I Saw You Super is one of those notes that like makes other perfumes better when you layer it on top or underneath. Like I Saw You Super is like a layering fragrance. Molecule One's a layering fragrance. So this combination is very fresh. It's not overwhelmingly anything in my opinion. It's not overwhelmingly citrus or clean. It's kind of light, but not. This is one of those in-between fragrance categories in my opinion that it just works really well. Um, but they have five different ones of these, different scents in the Eccentric line. If you wanna check any of those out, I'm sure they're gonna be good. I mean, it's a gel, so it cleans well. Hmm, definitely some citrus in there. I, I really do like this one too. Um, a little bit lighter of a headspace when you try this. Like you just kind of get like whiffs of a lot of clean notes and lightness, freshness. This is definitely more like I'm in the middle of a woods or something. <laughs> So different vibes going on here, very different spaces. All right, so if I had to recommend one over the other, that's pretty tough, but I will say, I think because these are more on the clean side of things, this is more woody, this is more in the middle, and this is super floral, you could actually layer the floral on top of these. So because this is a shower oil, maybe you want a little bit of moisture on your arms and legs, you could just put a little bit of this after you use one of these other ones just to add a little bit of a floral kind of a vibe and moisturize your skin a little bit but otherwise if you don't want to mix it up in between these two this is definitely more in your face herbal woody this is definitely more typical clean but a unique enough clean that you're not going to get in the drugstore or even at Target, or I mean, it's kind of in its category, its own. This is why I like fragranced body washes. Even though like, yes, you can get the same smell in a fragrance sometimes, it's just nice to get that burst of fragrance when you're showering, just to kind of take your mind away from things for a couple minutes. I think it's totally worth um, having a body wash kind of give you that experience. Um, so I've been having fun trying these. Um, if you are a scent person and you rely on scents to kind of lift your mood, I suggest trying out a fragrance body wash. Now it may not be an everyday thing for you because sometimes we can get really sensitive to fragrances, especially during allergy season. may not be the best time to introduce them into your routine if you are sensitive, but it might be something you can throw in there every once in a while. Anyways, those are my quick review thoughts on these body washes. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.